Okay, my name is Maurice Bell. I'm 53 years old and I'm a lifelong resident of the Hilltop. As I start branching out into the neighborhood, uh, I found my way to the J. Ashburn Youth Center, which at the time was just the Oakley Church, it wasn't the Youth Center. And uh, just being one of the neighborhood kids with no place to go, uh, everybody, uh, some of the kids that went to the church said that on Wednesdays that the you could use the gym inside the church. So some of the neighborhood kids, we would go up to the church on Wednesdays when they had Bible study and play in the gym. My life started, uh, I started hanging with the wrong crowd. And I started doing some things um, in school and in life that I wasn't really proud of. But when the center opened up, I finally got a chance to meet the reverend of the church, which is uh, the late uh, Reverend Ashburn. And I guess some of the kids or some of the parents in the neighborhood had told him of me and to don't don't waste your time on this on this kid right here because uh, I was I guess not one of the desirables. And, uh, he invited me to the church and I just uh, didn't want no part of going to church. And just over the years, he, he kept trying uh, from my early teens until, um, I'm gonna say till 20, he kept trying and my life was spiraling down. And, uh, and finally in my, I think I was 20 or 21, when we finally uh, got a chance to sit down and really have a man-to-man -man talk about what I had planned for my life. And I had no plans, I was just going with the flow. And once again, he invited me to the church to let God help me to become a better person. And I just wasn't having that. I was in the gym and he would come to the downstairs part and watch the ping pong, which I played ping pong. And it turned out that the Reverend was a pretty good ping pong player himself for an older gentleman. He challenged me to a game. And, and I told the Reverend at that time that I didn't want to embarrass an old man and a man of the cloth. And he said, well, we'll see who gets embarrassed after this game. And uh, we played, and of course, I won. And I embarrassed the old man. And so he, being a competitor, wanted to play again. Uh, we played again that day, and he lost again. So he says, are you here every Monday? And I says, yes. And uh, so we made it an ongoing thing that every Monday, me and him would play two games of ping pong. And we did this for at least six months. and. Each time before we played the ping pong, he would always invite me to join the church. And I said, Rev, I come over here just for the activities that you offer. But the church part is, is not for me. So we played for six months, and for six months straight, I, uh, I beat him. And it was just, he was just an old man trying to, trying to play one of the youth, which I wasn't going to have that. And so I told Rev that I didn't want to play him any longer because it wasn't a challenge. And he, I guess, was hurt. And um, he said, well, next Monday, when we play next Monday, let's, um, let's make this the last game. He said, well, if you win next Monday, I will never ask you again to come to the church, to join the church. And he says, if I win, then you will join the church. So we shook hands and the next Monday I came in there and and I told Rev I hope he had prayed to God to let him win. And uh, he laughed and we played and I don't know how he won, but that day the Rev finally won. I mean, I could not believe it.